Today I will be taking you through database and so we shall begin with our practical question 1 on database. So this is our number we shall handle today. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons. And so how would we begin database from scratch? We shall begin by creating a folder and then we create there a database file called medical details. So we create a new folder. We can call it database lesson. And then you open this folder. You right click inside. Create a new database file called medical details then you enter twice to open so as this database is opening they are telling us to call it medical details which we have done that the design a table with appropriate data types in design view called patients we shall design this table in design view and we name it patients so in design view we shall basically design the heading these headings will be done in design view and appropriate data types for example under PID will be text this will be text text date stroke time text number so that's what we are going to do so when it opens all is enable content so after enabling content you could create table design so under table design now you are going to type PID you add there F name you add their district you add their DOB you add their diagnosis you add their treatment fee And so when these ones are done, you also assign appropriate data types. For example, date of birth, you come there and choose date stroke time. Under treatment fee, you put number. And so click under PID, put a primary key from there so that it has it is a unique record identifier. Save the table as patients. click ok so when you are done this is our table patients you can double click this to come to this or else when this table is in design view when this table is like this you click around there choose data sheet view and then you start putting the information here and so you start entering the data P02 F name amount until when you finish the data you enter all the details here and then you save changes so when everything is done you have to keep the changes so our table is now done so you close the table now, what do we need to answer again? That assign a UGX symbol to the treatment fee field and change date to medium format. That here we put UGX before these values, then this date we change it to medium date. So open your table, come to view, down arrow on view, choose design view come here on number click number there under data date data type come here where we have general number to remove that open quotes write u g x cross quotes put space put hash shift figure three on top comma more three hashes this is UGX as a symbol then this hash stands for that figure 
before a comma and then the other three figures after the comma then come to date of birth in data type click there then move down to format click down arrow there and choose medium date save changes click view data sheet view so here we have date in medium date here is treatment fee with UGX suffix so close your table next on the instruction is let's scroll to see the details properly next on the instruction is to create a query to display all details of patients who come from either Jinja or Busia, save it as Eastern patients. So here we are going to create a query. Create, query design, add, this is our table, add, close. Put all the details and drag them there. So criteria under district click there criteria choose builder so in here right here ginger click ok come to this section of all click builder so here right busia click ok and so get the results by clicking the run icon so here we have patients from Busia and Jinja. Save it as Eastern patients. You click OK. Close your query from here. Next on our instruction is that we create a query to display all details that were not diagnosed with malaria. So we come to our database, create, query design, you add, close, put all the details, criteria under diagnosis, click there, build up. So from here you open less than, open the greater symbol and write malaria. So you click, OK run your query it displays all the other diagnosis except malaria save it as no malaria you click ok close your query next on our instruction is that create a form from the table and save it as main form so we create a form create form wizard from patient's table from patient's table yes take all fields using double arrow from available selected click next next call it main form finish This is our form. This is our form. So you can close it. What we do comes here. Next on our instruction is that if the government pays 40% of treatment fee for all employees, create a query to calculate a discounted fee, put on the F name, date of birth, diagnosis, and treatment fee on the display save it as discounted fee so here we create a query design we add close but for this case we want only f name we want date of birth we want a diagnosis and treatment fee only these ones so we are going to add a new field here called discount so click there got builder so here we say 40 out of 100 times that is star double click your database here double click here 
medical details, double click tables, double click patients, and from patients here, double click treatment fee, click OK. And so click criteria below what we have calculated. You remove this EXPR1. Don't remove the colonies, so replace it with discount. Run your query. This is discount. Save it as discounted fee. Click OK and close your query. Next on the instruction is create a report to display the information in the discounted fee query. Save it as discounted report. So we are going to create that report from the query we have just created. Create report wizard. Come to discounted query. Take all fields. Next. 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 So reaching there, click next. Give it a name. Discounted report. Click finish. And so this is our report. This column is hash hash because the field width is not wide enough. So we can close preview. And it will go to design view. Highlight these two items. Reduce them. Highlight the date of birth also. Expand it. So click down arrow on view. Report view. You will find that it is clear now. So save changes. Close your port. Next here is create a tabular form from discounted fee query showing all details and save it as patients form that we create a form from wizard from discounted fee query take all fields click next tabula click next and call it patients form click finish so you can see date of birth also has hash hash column width is not wide enough go down arrow view design view highlight this first third reduce it select this date of birth expand it backwards click save down arrow view form view so this is our form and it is done close your form so thanks for watching that marks the end of our number subscribe to my youtube channel for more database lesson more word lessons excel etc